Okay, fans, here's a surprise quiz. If David Cohn allows five runs in 18 innings, what happens to his ERA? Or if Tino goes five for eight, what's his batting average? If you can't do the math, we'll meet some kids who can. The finalists in the second annual baseball TV tournament at Yankee Stadium. We're at the Yankee Stadium, and this is totally awesome. Yes, it is. Baseball TV is the math, skills, and strategy game that the Yankees and the city schools have teamed up to build a tournament around. After competing in their schools, the best players from the fourth to eighth grades come to the stadium to determine who would take the trophies and cash prizes back to their schools. Baseball TV is um, cool, and it, it's not only helps helps like you have fun, but also helps you learn. I was, I was feeling very ner nervous, and I thought I was going to lose, but actually I won. If you win or lose, it's still, it's still, you could still say that you're a winner. The Great Moments Room at the stadium served as the setting for the tournament, along with the kids, parents, teachers, and the New York City Board of Education officials were there to root kids on. From what some of you have told me, you actually learned some math by doing this. Is this true? Yeah. It shows that this team really does care about kids and about the community and, and the future of these kids. So it's a wonderful, wonderful opportunity. In order for our kids to compete in the 21st century, they need to have a good, strong handle on literacy skills and math skills. They're the foundation of everything else. What's lovely about this is that it incorporates all of the higher order thinking skills that are required for kids to, to pursue all of the subject areas, but it's based in math. And it inspires them by using a game that we all love and that they all love and they can identify with. So the motivation is really high. And it's really, if you will, practical application of math, which is what kids sometimes don't get. They think we're just torturing them by doing long division and math and fractions. Now they, through this game, what they understand is there's a real use for that. I'm going to win one of the prizes. I, I, hope, I hope I win one of the prizes. With the prizes before them, checks, baseballs, trophies, and autographed Yankee photos, play got serious. Baseball TV challenges not only the students' math skills, but tests their ability to think and use strategy. The strategy skills that these kids have really comes out when they play this game because they're able to, to outplay and beat the A student. Time was up and the judges came around to gather the score sheets and determine the winners. Though it was evident that on this day, everyone was a winner at the stadium. I think this is a fabulous, fabulous game and it's a fabulous tournament. And I have to tell you that until about a half an hour ago, I used to be a Mets fan, but now I'm a Yankees fan. The highest average score in a grade brought a trophy to the winning school district as teachers and math supervisors shared in the spotlight. Next came the awards for the players. The four best from each grade. The excitement was building as the first place player awards for each grade were announced. Okay, here it is, the first place. And after the tournament, all the kids and teachers and parents stayed for the game. The sense of pride is overwhelming. I mean, you can sense it when you walk. I could sense it when I walked in here tonight. This does so much for the self-esteem of these children. It isn't just the winning of the game. It's knowing the New York Yankees care enough about them to sponsor this. And that means a lot. I have no doubt about any kid in this room doing well on any math test we can throw in their path. But more importantly, they know how to use math to solve problems. And they'll never forget that. They will never forget this day. This is a question of everybody working together to form the team that we need, and it worked. Congratulations to all the baseball TV players who made it to Yankee Stadium. Keep up the great work in math. On deck, David Wells experiences the power of the pinstripes.
was definitely something that has really worked harder. <laughs> I was just waiting for the time, you know, to come for me to be able to perform the way I did tonight. And also, you know, it's been five years. You know, it's about time, I think, St. John's comes <coughs> out here and win the, the, the Holiday Festival Championship. I mean, definitely, I think it was a great competition. Um,